right, so here she is, the former UFC strawweight champion, Rose Namajunas. I mean, can you give us a Thug Rose, please? Thug Rose! Thug Rose! John, this was one of the most <laughs> intense and fun moments that I've ever had as a commentator because the shock and all was just so crazy. Madison Square Garden, Joanna Young Jacek, a knockout in the first round. It, it, it was so fun, and all I could get out was Thug Rose. But I think you liked it, John. I absolutely loved it, and Rose certainly liked that result. But I think a lot of people point to that second Joanna Young Jacek fight as the real coming out party for Nama Yunus. The fact that she was able to largely outstrike Joanna over 25 hard minutes. It was truly impressive. is the proven ground this time she wants to leave with the belt all right so here she is one of the meanest women in all the mixed martial arts the former ufc women's bantamweight champion Juliana Pena, and really dating to her time on The Ultimate Fighter back in 2013. A lot of fight fans and pundits believe that Pena was destined for greatness. I remember her coach Rick Little talking about her in the gym back in the day. She just brought a ferocity to the training room that few women were able to bring, and she has brought that to the octagon, realized a world title in dramatic fashion by submitting Amanda Nunes in 2021. But she's sick of hearing about that. She believes a win tonight is gonna get her back on the cusp of a world title shot here at 135 pounds. Juliana Penny, ready to make another major statement here tonight. Our tale of the date for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Thug Rose Namajunas! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Juliana, the Venezuelan, Herbert Dean's in the building. He is the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, we are underway. Here is Doug Rose Nama Yunus with Trevor Whitman in her corner. She's not afraid to let the fight come to her. Certainly has some first-round finishes to her credit. Angela Hill, UFC 192, comes to mind. But this is a fighter who gets stronger as the fight goes on. We'll see how Nama Yunus approaches things here in the early going. Nice kick there by Nama Yunus. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Oh, nice takedown defense. Huge D land. Nama Yunus gets the early takedown. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Oh, right into mount. Making all these shots count. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yep. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. 
Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Pena. Oh, nice headlock. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, under the chin here. Could be the end. Oh, not anymore. She got out. Unbelievable that she was able to survive that deep Ezekiel choke attempt. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Penn. Nice strike from the bottom fighter there. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, arm triangle. Arm triangle. Arm triangle. Ooh, looks like she's got the arm triangle choke locked in tight. A lot of pressure on this choke, John. It's got to be it. It seems so tight. Oh, she got out. She did a good job of rotating, bridging back into her opponent, creating momentum, getting her chest flat to the mat, and defending that arm triangle. Man, she's got some good ground and pound and putting that part of her game to good use tonight. She's putting it to great use, just really damaging from the top position. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Side control. Oh, Pena's back in side control. Nice shots landing from the top position. Beautiful job on the ground. That strike opened her up. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Side control now. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Kenya. All right, nice transition into full guard. If you're the top fighter, where do you go from here? Try to posture up with some big ground and pound off, which will lead to you passing the half guard. Well, she has really come out guns blazing. Oh, looks like a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to chase her down to get another one off the finish of play. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Right back in the clinch. Look at the back hand to get very active. Now, Mayunas' eye is starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Nice one, two there. Oh, she got inside and right to the single collar tie. Oh, you got it like that, DC. She caught the kick and immediately counters with a perfect takedown. You can't okay. ever know okay. what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Drag down by that In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. Man, it looks like you could slide a half dollar right into that gash on her cheek. Better to be there than above the eye, but not a great look either way. Absolutely, and just a visual of that cut at the end of the fight is not a good thing. She was a little bit lax in her defense, Ready and fight. she's ultimately Ready. paying for it. Round two is underway. She works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. She does a great job landing the strike from the bottom, not staying idle when she's on her back. Nama Yunus going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Well, Nama Yunus is in half court. Oh, 
Nice. Nama Yunus gets back up here. Great punch. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Really nice job blocking that shot. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, a massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. All right, let's take a look at the numbers. She is landing at a very high percentage here tonight. The stats really tell the story in this one. Look at how she drives the knee right into her opponent's midsection. And now some knees. Just over three minutes to go. She knew this would be a problem if she stayed there. She finds her way out of the place position. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. She lands a switch knee. And now some knees. Goodness gracious, she lands another head kick upstairs. That's what my grandmother says, goodness gracious. Over and over. She is landing that head kick like Grandma used to say. Goodness gracious. John, I'd like to meet your grandma. She sounds like a sweet woman. Well, you could argue this is as good as she has looked on the feed, and she continues to target that. Pena's got the head. Let's see if she can finish off this guillotine attempt. That guillotine is tight. Get close to the finish. escapes a deep submission attempt. So two minutes to go here in our second round. All right, well, through no lack of effort, she still hasn't been able to get the submission. you got to credit the defense at some point. Absolutely. This young lady is so present defensively when she's under attack. She never panics. She's so calm under pressure. She seems to be a person that can't be submitted. Outstanding grappling battle, and now back to the feet. Huge response from the crowd. We'll see who has the advantage here. Big huge fire there. Probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, but you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class. But she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh, Pena's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. That's a nice job by her there to reverse the position on the She was in trouble. Now she is the one handing out the punishment. Great change of position very quickly. Half guard position for her here. And if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you got to pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you got to be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damaging strikes. You got to make sure you're on an elbow control, underhook, and getting back to your feet. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Attacking on guard. Oh, somehow she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. Nama Yunus is back into full guard. Great slip. Even though her opponent's throwing, she's not finding much success. Final seconds here of round two. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. She has no answer, so continue to feed her the question. Right hand after right hand from the top position. Right. Round two next. Hey, stop. All right, what a round it was. It's a replay guy's dream. Take us through the highlights, DC. A lot of head kicks here. She did a lot of good work, but it was the head kicks that you're going to remember. She landed them multiple times. She was able to find the target, find the head on many occasions, and really damage her opponent. You ready to fight? You ready? Go here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, Nama Yunus' is head kick. What a strike by her there. I do not doubt her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on the bike. She's got to get out to the center of the Watch the space so she can evade her opponent to finish her. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. Well, new round, same result. A 
as she continues to attack the buff. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Trying to establish that jab once again. Ooh, what a punch. I mean, she's fighting a big <laughs> Huge connection fire there. Lower the curtain. Bring the cast out. Bring the cast. If you take the foul, the uh -huh. night's over. And mixes in a takedown. Why not? Shoulder 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 Trying for a submission now. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tight. It's starting to get really tight in there. Serena is officially on fire right now after what she just did. There are a few things more exciting in mixed martial arts than a win by submission, and she got it done with style points here tonight. She got it done with style points, John. This young lady is a submission wizard, and it was on full display tonight as she gets another submission victory. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 28 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an armbar. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Juliana, the Venezuelan Vixen. So after an emphatic submission win here tonight, she remains the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. A lot of people thought this was a qualified